All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back inside the James L. Knight Center here in beautiful Miami, Florida. As always, this is boxing. This is Top Rank. It's now time to bring up our co-feature and our, ma our main event. Our co-feature is scheduled for 10 rounds in the featherweight division. Please welcome to the stage at this time, Robesi El Tre Ramirez and his opponent, Brandon El Leon Benitez. Gentlemen, come on up, Robesi. Brandon. And in our main event, we're going to bring them up as well. You're going to be right there. Robesi right here on the end. In in our main event, the Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. Please welcome the champion, the takeover, Tiafimo Lopez. And his opponent, Steve the Dragon Claggett. Steve, come on up. Tio, get up here. What's up, brother? All right, ladies and gentlemen, settle in. Let's start with our co-feature. As I mentioned, 10 rounds in the featherweight division. Robesi Ramirez, Brandon Elion Benitez. Gabe is off stage to help me translate. Robesi, I'm going to start with you. How excited are you to be back in the ring and get this thing back on track? No, realmente me siento bien contento de, de volver, por supuesto, acá a mi casa, a Miami. Y, y nada, bien, bien feliz de, de, del apoyo que, que han brindado la afición y, y emocionado porque ya es el sábado. I'm going to come over to Brandon Elion Benitez, 21 to 9 knockouts. You have won seven in a row, and you wanted this one. What does this opportunity mean to you to be facing a former world champion? Primero, antes que nada, muchas gracias a todos los que están aquí. Gracias a, a Top Rank por darme la oportunidad de, de, pues sí, de tener esta pelea. La verdad es que me siento muy emocionado. He buscado una pelea así de grande. Ahora que se me da la oportunidad, pues la voy a aprovechar y aquí estamos para ganar. Entonces, me siento muy contento de poder estar aquí con todos ustedes y estar aquí con, en Miami y hacer una pelea fabulosa. Robesi, uh, Benitez is primed for Saturday night. What do you need to do to walk away victorious? Creo que que necesitar hacer algo diferente no no es no es el objetivo. Es salir a hacer mi trabajo y demostrar. Eh, la calidad que tengo y, y el verdadero Roy si entre Ramírez que saca ese sábado With that, I'm coming back to Brandon right away. You were quoted, as soon as I get in the ring, I'm not going to stop throwing punches until my hand is raised. I think this guy over here has something to say about that. How do you overcome Robesi? Eh, pues nos hemos venido preparando con zurdos desde poquito más de un año. Entonces, no, no creo que sea una dificultad volver a enfrentar a un zurdo. Claro, sabemos que Rubesi es un peleador muy duro, un ex campeón olímpico, un ex campeón mundial. Sabemos que tenemos enfrente a un gran peleador, pero es un gran reto. A mí me gustan los retos y, y yo vengo por esta victoria.
Gabe, one last question for Brandon before we move over back to Rabasi. 126 pounds looks good on him. He's moved up every time he enters the ring. It's important, but clearly this is probably the most important fight of his career. Ah, es el más importante de mi carrera, es una gran oportunidad. Sabemos que ganando esta, esta pelea nos enfilamos por algún título mundial. Entonces, venimos bien preparados, tanto física, mentalmente, espiritualmente. Y pues en mi cabeza no está más que, que ganar. Así que venimos bien, bien muy bien preparados. Brandon, thank you very much. Gracias. Gracias. Robesi, what did you learn from your loss to Espinosa last December that now has put you in a different mindset? Creo que lo que lo que mejor aprendí fue que uno tiene que estar bien concentrado y bien centrado en el trabajo que 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 hay que hacer que este deporte es un deporte demasiado fuerte donde uno se sacrifica mucho y si no está concentrado 100% en, en, lo que, en lo que tienes que hacer, hay veces que, que te sacan de, 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 lo que, de lo que tienes que, que hacer arriba del ring y pues eso es lo que he aprendido, eh, simplemente escuchar, a concentrarme, a dejar todo a un lado, cuando toca trabajar es trabajar. Brandon just mentioned it uh, about a title opportunity awaiting the winner of this fight. So it's clearly a, a massive fight Saturday night. And Espinosa just put on a show just last week uh, for us at Top Rank. How important is it for you to make a statement on Saturday night as well? Sí, sí. Creo que, que, que esta pelea del sábado va a ser súper importante porque... Eh, por supuesto va, hemos, hemos estado desde el principio del año pidiendo la revancha y pues, pues ganando el sábado ya sabemos que si no es la revancha con Espinosa es pelear por cualquiera de los otros títulos pero sí, eso es lo que más quiere la afición es lo que quiere mi equipo, es lo que yo quiero y, y nada, obtener la victoria y pues cerrar el año con una revancha por el, para recoger mi título mundial para atrás Thank you. Gracias. There it is, guys. Uh, Robesi El Tren Ramirez, Brandon El Leon Benitez. That's 10 rounds in the featherweight division. That's our co feature. That's just our co feature. Let's move on to the main event. The junior welterweight championship of the world is on the line. The champion, Teofimo Lopez. Steve, the dragon, Claggett. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Champ, we'll start with you. Uh, you've spent the last eight or nine weeks here in Florida training. How's Florida life? Um, well, first and foremost, I want to thank God for this opportunity right here. You know, uh, this is a great opportunity for not just for myself, but for everyone that's on this card. This is a long overdue event. And uh, yeah, Miami has been great. You know, it's um, I did my training camp here preparing for Josh Taylor, and we just thought we needed to, you know, revisit this. And obviously, I'm in great spirits, so I look forward to it. Steve the Dragon Claggett, 38, 7, and 2, 26 knockouts, fellow Canadian. So welcome to South Florida. You've, uh, you've now won nine fights in a row, seven by knockout. I'd ask you how you're feeling, but I think it goes without saying, you've been on a tear lately. Yeah, well, I mean, this is something I worked my whole life for, 
and I feel like I have great momentum right now, so it's, a, it's, a, it's the time for me. Do you think you're being overlooked here? A lot of people were scratching their heads when this fight was announced, but clearly you and your camp don't. Well, I, I don't really care what other people say. You can only control your own perspective, so I just do what I know is right, and I prepare like I know, sacrifice what I did, and I put in the work. Chav, I want to come back to you. Last time out, you had a unanimous decision over Jermaine Ortiz. Um, you're not going to see that style Saturday night. How have you prepared differently to face Steve, who you know is going to come forward and come at you? Well, we understand, you know, this is like entering the dragon, you know, right now in this moment. So, you know, this is not a, a slouch. This fighter is, oh, he's waited 15 years for this opportunity right here, and he has it. You know, this is um, a moment of his career and for me it's just knowing that um overall just sticking to my game plan listening to my team and really you know this is a good uh slugfest really it's going to be a good fight good matchup and i just want to thank bruce trampler and brad goodman for making it happen he's been on a streak with nine wins in a row how do you stop that train um just like anything else man we know how to get the job done we know how to win you know what i'm saying uh we're not a two-time Nino world champion for no reason we do this you know we face the best fighters that you could possibly think of in boxing so you know steve claggy i know he's gonna come and bring it however there's just different levels to this you know and it's um nothing personal at that end you know it's just you know i look forward to seeing what he brings to the table and we just um dissect them from there Steve, I want to come back to you. Your team is incredibly proud of what you've accomplished lately, an NABF title. You've had two defenses of that title, constant improvement in the gym, better ever timeout. These are quotes from your, from your corner. Has signing with Eye of the Tiger helped your overall training and your confidence? Definitely. Uh, signing with Eye of the Tiger was the best move of my whole boxing life. And uh, I always used to say I was swimming in the ocean by myself when I had no promoter, no team. But now I'm on a big battleship. So it feels great to have some support and people behind me. And I can't wait to make them proud. We love when I have the Tigers on our cards, I can tell you that. Uh, one thing that stood out for me in one of your interviews recently is that you said you're more versatile than you've ever been. How so? Well, the name of the game is work on your weaknesses and just consistent improvement stay dedicated and work and build and all the things that I couldn't do I've been I've been adding to my game and I've been getting better every fight and uh, I feel like I'm progressing more than ever right now so it's it's a nice time for me it's gonna be a great fight Saturday night champ you were quoted in an interview recently that nobody at 140 wanted to come in the ring with you how excited were you when Steve signed on the dotted line uh, for me you know it's like just all I ask from top rank to Bob Arum is just keep me productive, keep me active, you know, and this is the, this is it, you know, this guy, I haven't fought, I haven't fought an orthodox fighter in some time, you know what I mean? So that's another thing that I'm actually looking forward to, you know, and for him to sign this contract, I know he's ready. Anything that we sent him, he was ready to sign, no questions asked, and, you know, obviously he knows what this means to him, and this means a lot to me, you know. This for him, he has nothing to lose, and for me, I have everything to gain, really, from this win. So I look forward to a great night, a great showing, Saturday night, June 29th, you know, and live on ESPN. Explain that a little bit, everything to gain after this fight. Well, everything to gain, really. You know, um, I'm the last guy standing in the 140 division. You know, WBC, we got a new champion. WBA, we have a new champion. And the IBF, we have a new champion. The only one left is Teofimo Lopez. You know, we have new faces coming into the game. And for me, this is the takeover for a reason. Miami takeover at this time. Steve, how excited are you to be here now that it's fight week? You know you're sitting three feet away from the guy you're going to face on Saturday night. It's real now. I, I, I put my whole life into this. I have worked my whole life for this opportunity. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm here. And uh, I'm ready to show what I've, a lifetime of hard work and dedication can do. Champ, any last remarks? Uh, for me, you know, this is... Um, this is everything. This means a lot to me, man. I'm only 26. You know what I'm saying? I'm hungry. Been hungry. I'm starving at this point, you know. This is the eye of the tiger right here. So I look forward to a great showing, great fight. I know he's ready. I'm more than ready. So for everyone, you guys got to definitely tune in. And we have a tremendous undercard. We got Lorenzo Medina in the, in the card as well. And who else do we have? Emilio Vargas. So we have a lot of great talent. So for everybody, and Nico Walsh, you know, going back for his rematch, 
So it's a, it's a tremendous card, man. I look forward to a great event. Stealing my jaw. You're doing my jaw. <laughs> Listen, he just said it, and I'll repeat it. You do not want to miss Saturday night from right here in beautiful Miami, Florida. Gentlemen, thank you. This is just our co-feature and main event, and like the champ just said, the card is absolutely stacked. We're going to be right here tomorrow at 1 o'clock to get them on the scale. You do not want to miss all things top rank boxing this weekend in Miami. Uh, unbelievable title fight. Steve Claggett, Tiafimo Lopez, thank you for being here. As always, this is boxing, this is top rank. We'll see you tomorrow when we get them on the scale. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the James L. Knight Center here in beautiful Miami, Florida. This is Boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum, who's with us, as always, in the front row. Brought to you all weekend long by AutoZone. Get in the zone by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now by C4 Energy, energy that hits, and by Twisted Tea, Hard Ice Tea. Keep it twisted. Sponsors are out of the way. Let's get down to business. Our main event here in Miami is the junior welterweight championship of the world. Teofimo Lopez puts his belt on the line as he takes on Steve Claggett. And in our co-main, 10 rounds in the featherweight division, Robesi Ramirez taking on Brandon Benitez. We will bring those gentlemen up in just a few minutes. But right now, joining me on stage, six rounds in the middleweight division. Nico Ali Walsh to my right. Sona Akale to my left, it is a rematch. And also joining me to my right, junior welterweight sensation Emiliano Fernando Vargas, who will be taking on Jose Saragossa. And to my left, undefeated heavyweight prospect from right here in Hollywood, Florida, Lorenzo Medina. An unbelievable night of fights coming to you from Miami. It's great to be here, it's a little humid, but man, do we have a card for you Saturday night. Lorenzo, gonna start with you, brother. You're taking on Detrellius Webster. You're 10-0, nine knockouts, 19 years old from right down the street in Hollywood, Florida. What's this week mean to you to be fighting in your backyard? It means um, so much to me, man. You know, like, this is one of the things I've been looking forward to my career since, since I was a little kid, you know? And to be doing it on a, such a big platform like Top Rank and ESPN and in front of my family and friends means the world to me. 19 years old, brother. Congratulations on all your success thank that you, you've already you. had, 10-0 and 0 with nine knockouts. Uh, in a past interview, you talked candidly about the Olympics. You had the opportunity to go to the Olympics. You won the Olympic trials, but you chose to go pro instead. 
What made you decide to get into the pro game and not go for the uh, the Olympic gold? Well, no, um, I won the like the traveling team and stuff, and I had the opportunity to go to the Olympic Training Center and train with Team USA and, you know, uh, compete in the world championships as well. But, you know, for me, I'm here to be a world champion, and if world champions are forgotten every day. You know, I want to be a Hall of Famer one day. I want to make sure they remember my name, you know, 100 years from now. And, and the, professional, the, the, the professional game is where that happens. 19 years old. You obviously got a lot of time ahead of you. Do you have the patience to stick it out, the dedication, the drive? Because a lot of times guys want it tomorrow, and the process is what sometimes get in the way. No, I, I absolutely. And um, a lot of fighters, you know, us as fighters, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. You know, we got to have that confidence and that, that eagerness to get in the ring and want to fight, and that's great. But at the same time, that's what our managers are here for. And that's why we have the great people in our corners to, to lead us the right way. And however long it takes, you know, I'm, I'm willing to keep that dedication there and the hard work there. What separates you from other young heavyweight prospects? Good and great, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You talked about your speed and your footwork. What, what makes you focus on the footwork? Because a lot of guys don't do that. You know, a lot of heavyweights, you know, you can have, there's heavyweights with fast hands, there's heavyweights with good defense, but there's no heavyweights with quick feet. You know, you can have the fastest hands in the world, but if you don't have fast, uh, fast feet to match it, you know, what are you going to do with it? Yeah. How exciting has it been to, uh, to have this week now be here? Just put your phone away. It's getting blown up by people who want to come to the fights. You, get, you give that responsibility to somebody else? No, absolutely, man. Um, it's, a, it's a great feeling. But, of course, social media is a job in itself. But, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's something I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, give up. You know what I'm saying? Well, listen, it's exciting for us to be here in Miami. Congratulations on all your success so far. Thank you. I appreciate we'll it. We'll see you on the scale tomorrow. Not that it matters. Lorenzo <laughs> Giant Killer Medina. Thank you. Uh, to my right, El General Emiliano Fernando Vargas. Uh, listen, brother, I, I've always had the, the privilege of being able to sit down with you. You always look fantastic. 10-0, eight knockouts. It's a busy weekend for your family. I want to start there because your brother is fighting this weekend as well. Your father, who would normally be with us in, in the crowd right now, is not. He's with your, father, fa uh, your brother. He'll be making his way here. How, uh, what does this weekend mean to you guys as the Vargas family to have your brother on another card and then you as well fighting Saturday? It's only going to give me more motivation come Saturday night when I see my brother raise his hand on Friday. You know, we got this Vargas dynasty thing going on, and uh, people think it's a gimmick. People think it's a fake, a fraud. I'm only here to show up and show out. So every time I have another opportunity to step in the ring. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everyone at Top Rank. Thank you, ESPN. It's another opportunity to show everyone that, you know, we're here to stay. First time in Miami for you. Uh, how are you enjoying South Florida and uh, all of the surroundings that have been presented so far this week? I love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, we're locked in, though. You know, all those fun activities and everything like that we can handle after. Um, I got great family with me. I got um, people in the right corner with me, and uh, we're looking to get the job done Saturday night. That's the only thing on my mind. You had two fights in 2022, six in 2023. This is your fourth fight already in 2024. Clearly, you like being busy. Uh, you mentioned prospect of the year recently in an interview. Does this all come into play? Is this part of the, the busyness factor? I mean, look, um, I just want to be the best young fighter I could be now. I know I'm in a grown, man, grown man's sport, and um, you know, world champions that are world champion right now are 27, 28, 30 years old. So I know, I know, kind of, uh, you know, like I said, I'm in a grown man's sport. So all I have to do is keep my head down, get the experience. You know, I think uh, when it's time, you know, my 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 team, and, and and we'll sit down with Bob, we'll sit down with the rest of the team, and when it's time to go for a world title, then it's time. Listen, we're always excited to have you on the card. It's a pleasure to sit down with you. See you tomorrow on the scale. Thank you so much. And to, uh, you know, all my Latino fans here in, uh, here in uh, you know, Florida, thank you so much for the love. You know, you guys welcome the Mexican with open arms, all my Cubans, all my Puerto Ricans. Everybody showed out at the media workout yesterday. Y gracias por todo el apoyo. Gracias. Awesome. Listen, let's move, uh, move into these guys sitting on either side of me. It's a rematch. Six rounds in the middleweight division. Nico Ali Walsh, Sona Akale. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, Nico, I want to start with you. You wanted this fight to happen now for a minute. Uh, what has to change so that you walk out with a W? 
A lot has changed. Uh, you know, this isn't my first rematch, so we, we know that I'm able to adapt quickly. I'm early in my career, so, you know, I'm, I'm changing every month. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the fight. Sona, Slink Proper Akale. How excited are you to run it back? Um, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm uh, eager to prove uh, that it was no fluke. You've always had a big family around you, household growing up with cousins, aunts, uncles. How special has this journey been since the fight with Nico? Uh, you know, your game obviously upped in the boxing world and also in music. Oh, yeah. Um, it's been a whirlwind, man. I love it all. Um, I'm already a legend in my city, you know, so win, lose, or draw. I'm happy to be here, but I'm here to win. Always, always here to win. Listen, legend in your city, you got to get with Bob. Maybe we'll do a fight in your hometown. Man, I've been trying to talk to Bob forever, <laughs> man. Tell Bob that. Listen, uh, Nico, I know you don't like to be away from the gym very often. You talk about it all the time. You took a week off after your last fight. You had a great unanimous decision over Charles Stanford. How's I, I didn't take a week off. Well, it was in my notes that you, you took a week off, and, and your team forced you to not be in the gym. You may have worked out outside of the gym, but you were not in the gym. That is a fact. Yeah, my bad, yeah. All right. Um, how is working out with and out of uh, Salas's gym now? You've been with him with three fights. These guys are amazing. Um, you know, I've got uh, just love in, in my corner, and I've got people who believe in me, which is the most important thing. I'm working with Fernando Diaz, Jamie Bell. You know, all of, all of Salas Academy is amazing. Every single person there I get along with, so I'm just happy to be where I'm at. I mentioned to Sona the importance of family. Obviously, your family rolls in deep every, every fight week that you're on the card. It's always great to spend time with your family. How important are they in your life? And when it comes to training camp, are you able to sort of cut ties for a little bit and focus on the task at hand? Because sometimes, I know my mom can get in the way. No, honestly, it's, it's, a family, it's a family event. At the end of the day, what I'm doing is a family business. So, uh, you know, I, I don't really cut ties, I would say, but, you know, my family understands that, you know, my mom, uh, my mom and my aunt are here, they're twins, they were around um, when the greatest fighter of all time was fighting, so if they know how to cut ties with him, they definitely know how to do it with me, so I embrace my family always, and uh, they actually give me strength when they come, you know, to my fights and stuff. I'm going to quote you, because I, I, you know, in, in researching for today, you were quoted recently, boxing is simply life now. How important is it to put on a show Saturday night and make a statement? It's very important. You know, uh, every, every fight has its own significance and its own importance, but this fight in particular is very important to me. Um, I just, I feel like the world works in, in a weird way, and I feel like everything happens for a reason. I'm standing on the grounds where, as you know, I'm sure uh, my grandfather fought Liston here, and uh, he shook up the world, and I'm not going to shake up the world. I'm, I'm not fighting Sonny Liston, you know, but uh, I'm definitely in my own right shaking up the world, you know, in, in a little bit in, in my heart. So. so, and I want to come back to you real quick. Twin Cities is home. Yeah. Uh, you spar with former champ Jamal James. Yeah. How has the process for you changed since all of the attention to the win over Nico? On um, the pro, just dealing with, um, dealing with the new faces um, that and dealing with the new people that knew you from kindergarten that you haven't seen in your whole life. And then they pop up, they say, oh, that was my best guy. This is that in kindergarten. It's like, oh, okay. 30, 30 years ago, yeah, we were close, yeah. But uh, I'm glad that um, the, the publicity, um, putting my city on the map um, and bringing some light and awareness to Minnesota and where I come from and, um, and Africa and Cameroon, because I'm um, originally Cameroonian. Um, I'm here to fight, um, I'm here to win, and uh, uh, I'm glad to be here, man. Thank you to everybody that came out, and uh, you guys are gonna get a fireworks show on um, Saturday. Thanks for being here, and thank you for agreeing to, th to run it back again. Uh, I always, yeah, I wanted it, I wanted it, I always wanted it. We know. Yeah, all right, we I know. was making sure. <laughs> Nico, last question for you. Um, you. You brought it up. Your grandfather obviously fought here. You had the chance uh, earlier in the week to walk through a, a pretty incredible exhibit. I, and I've asked you this before. Does that give you extra motivation uh, 
extra mojo in your step to know that you're carrying on this name. I introduce you every fight as the legend lives on. Yeah, that name kind of just stuck, but I, I feel like that name is suitable for now. You know, I don't, I don't, I love my grandfather, of course. I don't enjoy talking about him all the time, of course, but it just so happens that, you know, he had such an impact that his, his essence is left like everywhere I'm fighting. You know, I fight in Atlanta. That's where he did the torch for the Olympics. I'm fighting in Vegas. That's where he fought. I'm fighting in New York. That's where he fought Frazier. So, you know, now I'm here where he fought Liston. That's a very impactful fight. I definitely feel the, the mojo, as you put it. And uh, I just, it's, it's a different kind of feeling. It's a, it's a strength that um, I'm, I'm not really used to. We're going to leave it right there. We're going to take a little break. We're going to let these guys have a, a picture up front and the first face-off of the week. And then we'll be back to bring up our co-feature and main event. Gentlemen, thank you. Everybody watching online, sit back, relax. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.